Ahoy there cruisers and welcome to another episode of Cruise with Ben and David. In this episode we're going to be looking at the 10 top tips that cruise lines don't want you to know. So if you want to save money and you want to find some behind the scenes secrets, stick with us because we've got all these coming up in this video. Tip number one, port days. If you decide to stay on the ship on a port day, whilst most of the other cruisers have got off on excursions and everything, you'll find that the ship is really, really quiet. It's a perfect time to avoid those big crowds and the people soup around the pools where you can have a hot tub by yourself. And the spa also offers some really big discounts as well that most people don't know about. Because there's not many people on the ship, it's a great time to enjoy some of the amazing ship's facilities. Yeah, and you don't have to do a full day, you could even just do a half day, so maybe get off the ship later in the afternoon or first thing in the morning and then spend half the day on the ship and enjoying the facilities uh, yeah. by yourself. Yeah, on sea days and when people are between ports, it can be really busy, all the activities can be really busy, the water parks, the slides, the um, climbing walls, the floor rider, whatever, can be really busy, so it's a great opportunity to do these on a port day. So tip number two is all about food. In the buffet, you can help yourself to as much food as you like. You can try lots of different types of food as well. And in the main dining rooms, you can order as many dishes as you like on most cruise lines, meaning that if you have an appetizer that you like, you can just say, hey, can I get another one of them, please? Or if you can't decide between two dishes, why not order both of them? Yeah, the food is truly unlimited, so you may as well get your money's worth. Number three of what cruise lines really don't want you to know, but ships have jails and morgues on. Oh God, it's a bit miserable, isn't it? But it's true. <laughs> people die at sea and people still commit crimes as well. So they mm -hmm. have to have a jail or a brig and a morgue as well, which can hold a few people who unfortunately may pass away on a cruise. But yeah, these are floating cities after all. So they've got to have all of these facilities. You've also got the medical rooms as well. The medical area is usually like a floating hospital, guys. Unfortunately, we've had a little bit of... Um, <laughs> We've tried them out before. I've tried it out having really hurt my head one time. But yeah, it's amazing. The facilities are incredible. So you really can feel safe while you're at sea. Tip number four is that if you've booked your cruise, but at a later date, a promotion comes out that has reduced the price of your cruise or has maybe given you free dining or free drinks or free Wi-Fi, why not call the cruise line, cancel your cruise and rebook with them or speak to them and see if they can give you the free promotion or reduce the cost of your cruise. So if it's before the cancellation date, you can do this usually with a small charge from the cruise line and it's such a great opportunity to save some money. So keep an eye on your cruise throughout just to make sure it doesn't really drop in price or there's no amazing additions added for free. Yeah, great way to keep the eye on your cruise is to set up a price alert. You can do this through the Shipmate app. They have a price alert and some other travel agencies also have that option as well. Tip number five is to book your own excursions. Of course, the cruise lines want you to book the onboard ones, but these can often be really, really pricey. And they are like factory made churning out sheep of the same mm -hmm. thing every single day. So you can do your own thing by booking your own excursion. Just make sure that the company is a reputable and that you get back in time for departure in plenty of time. Yeah, because if you're late, the ship won't wait. So it is all down to personal preference. If you feel comfortable and confident enough to just organize your own shore excursion, go for it. Look for a cruise line who will offer you a refund if your port is missed for some reason. For example, if there's bad weather and they've had to miss your port. And like Ben said, make sure you do your research. Yeah, we don't like being crammed on buses with loads of other people being tr trolled around. We like to do our own thing and really experience the authentic destination. Okay, tip number six is to skip the photo packages. We found these really expensive and you get they have charge a really big mark upon these photos. Take your own cam with you, you can take photos anywhere you want around the ship and you've got the beautiful ship as the background rather than an artificial background or a pull-up you know, background of a different ship or something really. I never, don't know why they do that. Yeah, I don't know why. You want photos that are real like and natural ship, anyway. Yeah. And seriously, guys, the markup on these and the price, don't be lured in for the digital packages or anything like that because they are so, so pricey. Just take your own snaps, mm -hmm. take loads of them and print them off yeah. yourself at home. If a photographer does take a photo of you, don't feel pressured into having to buy it. You don't have to buy it. You can choose later if you want to or not. And tip number seven would be to avoid the casinos. <laughs> these operate at international water, so there's no real official rules that they have to go by. And trust us, guys, the cruise line is always the winner. 
yeah, they'll lure you in with some fantastic deals, free drinks, maybe um, a session where you can learn how to play games. But at the end of the day, all they want you to do is spend money in their casino. So don't get carried away with swiping your cruise card, spending all your money. Just make sure that if you are gonna go into the casino, you set yourself maybe a budget or you just avoid it at all costs. Okay, tip number eight is that you will gain weight on your cruise, guys. Honestly, every cruise we come back and we have gained weight. So just make sure you factor that in, maybe if with your wardrobe, if you're going on a long cruise. Yeah, there's lots of <laughs> yummy food while on board. So we really recommend taking the stairs where you can. Use the gym, use the exercise yeah. equipment on board. There's jogging tracks, you can go swimming. Just use all of, do, do mm -hmm. as much exercise as you can while you're away. Maybe have a lighter lunch so you can avoid putting on them a few extra pounds at the end of your holiday. Yeah, particularly if you've got a lot of sea days and you're going to be walking less, or if you're just maybe doing a bus tours in the ports and stuff. So, you know, you might not be as walking as much. So, for our penultimate tip, for tip number nine, that bathrooms can get a little bit smelly on board. So these are the bathrooms in your cabin. Because there's not really any windows or ventilation in there, they can get a bit smelly. So we recommend that you take your own air freshener of your choice. Yeah, we love taking little different air fresheners because we choose a different smell every time we go away. So it reminds us of that of that vacation. So we'll like spray yeah. it around the house and be like, oh, this reminds us of that Caribbean cruise we took. <laughs> Okay, tip number 10 is to treat the crew really well because guys, they work so, so hard. They work every single day without a day off. They're working very long shifts, all to bring you an amazing vacation. So please guys, just be really nice to them. Make sure that you tip them well, tip them generously, and just be really nice to them, honestly. Like. Yeah, guys, they're there to make your holiday as good as possible. There's no minimum wage on most of the cruise lines because the cruise is usually based in offshore ports like Valletta or places in the Caribbean. So yeah, so really make make their life as easy as possible because they do work really hard. As David says, they're gonna be working 17, mm -hmm. 18 hours a day with no breaks or no time off. And they're away from the family as well. So you are their family when you're on the cruise ship. So make friends with them, enjoy the company and sort of make the most of them while, while you're on holiday. Yeah, they, we always find that a crew really makes a holiday for us. And you know, some of the crew that always have a smile on their face every single day from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. till even later. Absolutely. Also, you've got to think about the people behind the scenes. We get a lot of questions about gratuities, about saying that people only want to tip certain individuals. But you've got to remember that there's people in the laundry, there's the chefs, the there's kitchen, cooks, yeah. there's the kitchen. There's people, you know, that are actually ironing, running the ship. Ironing your bedding and cleaning your bedding behind the scenes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you're removing the gratuities that get shared between everybody, you're really taking it away from them as well. So we always just say, leave the gratuities on as well. And if there is anybody that's give you extra special service, give them a little bit extra. So guys, we hope you enjoyed our video about the 10 things that cruise lines don't really want you to know. Of course, it's all out there in the public. We know that, but it might be some tips there that you didn't think about. Make sure you Yay! give us a like and you subscribe to our channel right now and hit that bell button so you are told every time we upload a brand new video. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our handles are on the, sc on the screen right now. Come over and find us, you know. We like to stay in touch with you guys, see your photos, share your photos with us. We love hearing from you. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.